What's going on guys, it's Mr. DEBT, Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group here with a coronavirus scam alert. That's right, here are some of the scams you need to look out for. People are being uh, taken as fools for money, our elderly, they're being preyed upon, young people. So many people are being taken advantage of and I need you guys to really take heed to some of these warnings and look out for these scams because they're fooling people and people are losing money, they're being taken from, their identity is being taken from them, all of their private information is being taken. Listen up, okay? Don't fall for these scams. Here are the following scams to look out for. Number one, anyone saying they have ventilators for sale. Okay, anyone that's saying they're selling ventilators online, door to door, do not answer the door, ignore the email, do not hit the purchase button, don't try to purchase private seller ventilators right now. I'm telling you, you're being scammed. Number two, if anyone, a relative, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, says send me money so that I can survive the coronavirus pandemic, I am sick. Not I need food, not I need help, I am sick, and if I don't get money, I'm going to die. Listen guys, sending money won't save them. I hate to say it, but it is likely a scam. That's not the way to help people by sending them money so that they can survive the coronavirus pandemic. If they have the virus, they're infected and they're sick, they need to get the help of a medical profession, not money. We can deal with insurance costs and things later. That's for survivors. But speaking on that, number three, People who say I can't pay my medical expenses related to coronavirus. I was infected, I've survived, and I need help with the bills. I can tell you right now there's more help out there than ever before when it comes to covering medical costs. More than likely, this is a scam. Don't even click on the email. If it's someone you don't personally know, don't click on it. Even if you know the person, don't click on the email. Don't do anything. Maybe contact the person, but don't fall for this scam. Number four, someone showing up at your door claiming they're from the CDC, they need to inspect your home, they need to make sure everyone's okay, I'm from the census, I wanna make sure everyone's healthy, I wanna account for everyone in the house. That is not happening. People are not going door to door for census counts. The CDC isn't sending anyone to your house to make sure you're infected or healthy. Okay, do not answer the door if someone comes up in a hazmat suit or whatever, claiming they're from the CDC and they need to come in and make sure everyone's healthy. Ignore it. Don't answer the door, don't answer emails, don't answer phone calls, hang up on people who say they're from the CDC and they just wanna check on your health. That's not the way it's being done. If you really feel like they're legit, call the CDC when they show up. Call the CDC on the other line to see if they're calling people. Check the website. Validate before you allow people to have access to your home or your private information. Also, if anyone's claiming that they're a financial guru and they can put you in an investment right now that's gonna make you a ton of money, ignore that right now too, okay? We're going through a pandemic and a recession. We don't have time for that. You can get back to that later. Ignore it, it's likely a scam. Number six, look out for fake bill collectors. There are a ton of people out here who are saying that they're bill collectors, you owe some money, they want you to pay. This is the same scheme that goes on time and time again. They're saying that the they're from the IRS, you're going to be sued, you're going to be taken to court in the next week. We all know that's not going to happen. Don't listen to any of these threats. Anyone that's illegitimate just saying, collect, I need to collect money. In fact, if a real bill collector calls you right now, just tell them there's a pandemic going on and I can't pay anyway. Talk to you when the pandemic's over. Don't give anyone the opportunity take money from you because they say, they say you owe something or you have a bill that's outstanding. No, we're in a pandemic. Okay, guys, hang up the phone. Don't answer the email. Don't click on it. Don't open it. Ignore it for now. If a person claiming to be a minister, a clergy member, a faith leader, you're getting an email from them saying we need funds because our church, our synagogue, our faith organization is going out of business. You never heard of these people. You're not familiar with these leaders. Do not open the email. Do not answer. Do not give money. If you're not familiar with clergy that's reaching out, don't answer. 
I understand when it comes from people that may be reaching out and you know them, but if you don't know these individuals, now is not the time to give to people you don't know. Number eight, people claiming to have some type of vaccination, some type of treatment for coronavirus. Ignore, delete, don't open, do not research, don't answer the call, totally ignore anyone claiming that they can share some information with you. I don't care if it's a home remedy. I don't care if it's a go to the store and buy these products. If they're talking about being able to cure the virus, ignore them. Tell your grandparents, tell everyone, ignore these emails, ignore these calls. That is a fraud and people are just trying to get your information. Lastly, if someone is calling, claiming to be from your mortgage company, from your bank, from your credit card company, and they have not called from that number before, and they don't know your information, they might know your name and your last four of your social, but they really don't know about you. Now is not the time to have that conversation with them. Hang up, ignore the email, and I'm not saying they can't be legitimate, but now is not the time. There are too many people perpetrating as legitimate bill collectors. They'll use letterheads. They'll use the company's uh, email address and address. It'll look official sometimes. But if it doesn't come from the same place that it's been coming from, in terms of text messages, in terms of phone calls, in terms of emails, the same place that it's come from for the last year, the last six months, the last eight months, if it's all of a sudden a different address, a different web address, a different email address, a different phone number, guys, it's likely a fraud. Ignore it. Don't open an email. Don't get scammed right now. I mean, people know that we're home. They want to get your money. Look out for scams. Also, guys, look, add other scams in the comment section. There are thousands going on right now. The more that people know about them, the better. Let's share this. Let's make sure that our elderly community is aware. Let's make sure that our young people are aware. Let's make sure everyone's aware right now because we don't. The last thing that we need right now is a situation where people are losing money because they fell for a scam. All right, guys, subscribe to the channel. You know we talk about more than the coronavirus. We talk about financial literacy. We talk about things that are helpful to the community when it comes to financial freedom. I appreciate your support. You guys have a good one. Stay safe.